this episode of Video Game Review is brought to you by Gamefly. For over 8,000 titles to choose from, no lick fees, never play a bad game again, or buy one for that matter, when you sign up with Gamefly.com. Link down in the description. Okay, people are t sick and tired of mm -hmm, everything, all the bullshit happening here on Earth. Let's head to space! Seriously, because on this episode of the Video Game Review, we're checking out Activision and Infinity Ward. It's hit new game, well, somewhat hit new game, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And this episode of the Video Game Review starts right now. to an all new episode of the video game review brought to you by Gamefly.com and GameStop.com if you want to check out some amazing merchandise and get in on some great deals as well check out the link down in the description to GameStop.com and also if you want to sign up and try with Gamefly.com the link is also down in the description down below now one piece word of advice on this. This is going to get very heavy duty when it, during my review. Because Activision fucked me over when I tried to post my gameplay footage of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Every fucking time I tried to post the damn thing, it got flagged. Just one little clip in the stupid thing flagged it as a copyright. You can't copyright something that's in your own damn game, you fucking morons! Okay, enough about that. Let's get into this before we show you some of the gameplay footage that I did. It was my, It's my gameplay footage. I did it. And these motherfuckers at Activision better not fucking fuck with me on this shit again. Okay, calm down. Calm blue ocean. Calm blue ocean. Okay, I'm better. I feel so much better. Okay, now, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, I actually enjoyed this game. I actually enjoyed it. Now, unlike other Call of Duty games where you had this whole, you know, War on Earth kind of thing, or like in the last one, the Black Ops 3 game. Oh, Jesus Christ, what a train wreck that was. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare takes you beyond Earth and to the stars. That's right. We go to space for this one. And we go to different planets in the solar system. Mars, Pluto, um, a few other places and stuff. It's a fantastic game. And I, I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed it right till the end. And I'll tell you why during this review because we're going to check out some of my amazing gameplay footage right now and then see you right after. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Oh yeah. Okay, now this game had it all right from the start. It was a good action starter. It had a storyline that was pretty damn good and everything. Okay, but it also had Jon Snow, <laughs> Kit Harington, from Game of Thrones, was in it as the main villain. He was Admiral Sailing Koch, and wow, we was he horrible. He was a bad guy to the bone on this one. I meant literally shooting one of his own guys to prove a point and shit. What at the beginning, you know, and so on and so forth. The game itself. The storyline itself was great, and I enjoyed every bit of it, up until its ending. And I'll tell you right now, a big spoiler warning for all of you. On If you've already played it, you already know what happens. But if you haven't played it, here, skip this part of the review right now, because you're going to hear it. Okay? Salem Koch gets killed they, mm -mm, by Commander Reyes. Okay, and his team. They go to Mars 
to blow up the fucking space station and stuff. The orbital station and stuff like that that is refueling the ships and everything and docking them and everything. Okay. And your main character, Commander Reyes, Nick Reyes, excuse me, gets killed. Now this seems to be a reoccurring theme for every Call of Duty game there is. Okay? That's one thing that really irks me about this game. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was pretty damn good. I was enjoying every bit of it. And it been till that fucking last part. And I'm like, oh come on! Seriously? One Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, in, uh, any game for Call of Duty, I would like to see my main character live, not die all the fucking time at the end. Jesus, God, it was so ridiculous. I mean, come on. Battlefield, Bad Company, and then they had main characters living and shit. Okay? Why can't you do it in Call of Duty? Ugh. Either way. The gameplay is phenomenal in this one, okay? Different weapons, uh, futuristic weapons of all kinds and stuff. Not to mention your starfighter you use. I mean, seriously, the, it's just awesome as hell. Now, the main villains of this whole little mm, thing, you're, the main protagonist enemies as the SDF, Settlement Defense Front, okay? And basically, their headquarters is on the planet Mars. Seriously, they're on Mars. Okay? And the whole thing starts off with the fact that a special forces group from Earth goes in to retrieve this weapon that the SDF had gotten and stuff, gotten their hands on and everything. Well, the whole thing was a trap. Okay? Because the, they knew they were coming and stuff like that. Because... There's an insider on Earth, okay, that works for the SDF. And it was just unbelievable how this game played itself out, okay? Not to mention the attack on Earth, okay? These guys from Mars just came in there and just started wiping everybody out. So they were shooting at civilians and everything. And it was just like, what the fuck? You know, what kind of whacked up shit is this? Either way, it was a great game. But, it's very short. The whole thing can be beaten within four hours. Seriously. And no, I'm not going to pull no stupid Angry Joe crap and start going, Four hours! No. Sorry. That don't, that don't fly here. <laughs> We're our own thing here. Either way. Let's move on to the final judgment. Alright, final judgment for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. <sighs> it's going to kill me to do this, okay? Because I actually loved the game. I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed playing the multiplayer and stuff. The one thing I didn't enjoy is Activision flagging my goddamn videos over a tiny clip that was in their own goddamn game. So, before I give my final judgment, which is gonna stab me so hard because I don't wanna give it, but I'm gonna give it because I hate you, Activision. You fucked up my shit from getting on YouTube and stuff. And now I got to say to you is big fuck you. Okay, now, final judgment for Call of Duty. Infinite Warfare is a 7 out of 10. Okay? I really don't want to do that. I loved this game. I enjoyed it. But the reason I am actually giving it a 7 out of 10 instead of an 8 out of 10 is because of Activision. They can, fl they can sit there and flag my videos all they want and shit. But when it comes to other people putting their gameplay footage up like the Rad Brad and stuff, well, they probably all kiss their asses anyhow. So either way, I don't understand why the hell you would flag my video over a tiny little clip. 
Seriously, it's part of the gameplay, you morons! Oh, Him in his god... Reyes in his goddamn thing taking off and shit is part of the fucking gameplay! It's not part of a goddamn block clip! It's not part of anything else! Yet you flag it! Ugh. So, big fuck yous to Activision. Infinity Ward, I'm sorry you did a fantastic job on putting this together and stuff, but you can thank Activision for the final judgment score of a 7 out of 10. Not to mention, come on! Every Call of Duty game you come across, ugh, you kill off the main character in the end. Fine. I thought, finally, Infinite Warfare, we're going to get a different aspect of things. Nope. Kill the main character off at the end of the game and stuff. Turning him into a martyr or a hero or whatever. And then... Yeah, Jesus Christ, I hate this. This game was great, okay? But little aspects of it could have been better. Infinite Warfare was great to play. The multiplayer, not so much. I mean, seriously, it, it, the multiplayer was just kind of stupid. Okay, not to mention, I kept getting disconnected. Or, uh, if you didn't earn enough points, you can't unlock this this chest and stuff like that. Ugh, fuck that shit. Either way, 7 out of 10 is my final judgment. Ugh. I am going to give it a thumbs down and a thumbs up. Thumbs down because of Activision doing their fucking stupid shit. And thumbs up because the, I actually enjoyed the game. Okay, Infinity Ward, I'm, I'm sorry you did great on this and stuff. But come on. Activision doesn't have to flag every goddamn time on a video because of a clip. A single little clip that's part of the goddamn game! Oh. Either way, I can't recommend this game. Okay, I cannot. Re I can't recommend it enough to everybody and stuff like that. I want to say that, but when it comes to the actual, you know, no, I can't recommend it. I don't recommend wasting your money on it. I recommend if you want to, Get it from someplace like Gamefly.com and rinse it, okay? Or buy a pre-owned copy or used copy of it and stuff like that. And then if you don't like it, you can get rid of it. Now, one other aspect I gave it a 7 out of 10 for is because the, there was a major issue with the Legacy Edition. The Legacy Edition had a catch-22 to it, okay? If you bought Legacy Edition, you got the Infinite Warfare game, and you got the DLC code, the downloadable code, to have Modern Warfare Remastered, okay? But there's a catch-22 to this little adventure, thanks to fucking Activision, that says you can't play Modern Warfare Remastered without the fucking Call of Duty Infinite Warfare game still being in your possession. That's why I canceled my pre-order for the Legacy Edition and turned it over to the regular edition. Because I was not going to be stuck with a game I might hate. And I just don't know what to say on that, okay? Either way, that's it for this episode of the Video Game Review. We want to know your thoughts on this game. Did you actually enjoy Call of Duty Infinite Warfare? Do you think it had little flaws on it? You hate Activision as much as I do right now, and we just want to know it all down in the comment section down below. And remember, everyone's got an opinion. Opinions are a lot like assholes. Everyone has one. So no fighting amongst the comments, okay? You're going to have different sides to say on something. You're going to have different opinions. That's great. We want to hear them. And that's it. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel if you're new. And, like I said, leave the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check out Gamefly.com, GameStop.com. Both places, great with the video game thing and stuff like that. Gamefly.com, you can get in on over 8,000 titles now to choose from. No late fees, 
never play a bad game again, or buy one for that matter, until you try it with Gamefly.com first. And GameStop.com, get in on some awesome deals with Christmas just around the corner and stuff. You can get in on some awesome deals they got going on and stuff like that. Weekly specials and more. Check out Gamefly.com and check out GameStop.com. Both links will be down in the description. And that's it for this episode of the Video Game Review. On our next episode of the Video Game Review, we're going to be checking out whew, Final Fantasy XV. Wow. I got it. Now, I have to say big shout out to Gamefly.com for sending me for sending me it, uh, a copy of it to play through, review, and stuff like that. But it's for Xbox One, so I got no way to record the gameplay footage. It's like, ah! So my good fr friend, my awesome BFF, and our awesome lady of the Adventurous Joe Show crew, Tara Babcock, is going to be providing us with some gameplay footage to show. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, she is my BFF. And that's awesome. And she is, even though she does her own thing, she will always be a part of the Adventurous Joe Show because her and I both started this little adventure together. And that's how it goes. Either way, that's it, my Adventurous Ones. Peace out. May the Force be with you all. Check out the links down in the description to Gamefly.com, GameStop.com. And don't forget, my birthday's coming up on December 15th. You want to get me something special for my birthday? Boom! Amazon wishlist link is down below as well. I'm also going to be posting my GameStop.com wishlist as well. So, if you want to pick up something for yours truly for his birthday, it's down there. Either way, that's it. I will see you all next time on the next game review. Video game review. Game review. And once again, to, game, to Infinity Ward... Fantastic job you did on the game. I'm sorry I had to give it such a low score, but there's some things that need an improvement. And to Activision, fuck you. Fuck you. Anything that's got your name on it from now on, I will never post on this goddamn... I will never post another gameplay walkthrough of ever again. You can thank yourselves for that one. Every time I turn around that fucking flag in my video bullshit over one tiny clip, and it's part of the game. It's part of the fucking game. So, Activision, go fuck yourselves. And I will see you all next time, my adventure ones, adventurer ones, adventurous ones, on the next video game review. Later.